a couple of days ago, I was at a basketball court and I was getting ready to train, work with some people. And when I pulled up to the park, all the basketball courts were full. So my mind immediately went to, oh man, what are you gonna do? How are you going to be able to train these people with no space? So because of time and training, then my mind quickly switched again to, isn't it wonderful? I always have all the space I need. And so then I started entertaining that thought and entertaining that thought pushed out the old thought. So I kind of just said that to myself for about 30 seconds, just over and over. And then by that time, it just kind of calmed me down. It was like taking some medicine, right? It got my blood pressure down, so to speak, right? So maybe about 10 minutes later, because I always get everywhere I go early, about 10 minutes later, a group of about eight, 10 people walked off different courts. So I went from having no courts to three different options. I only needed a half court, but I went from nothing to something. Life is lived every day. And no matter how many days we live in a row, no matter how fast it seems like it's going by, it's almost like running. No matter how fast you sprint, it's still one step at a time. And so no matter how many days we live back to back to back, even though they go by fast, we're still living one day at a time. And so it occurred to me, in order to live one day at a time and live one day at a time well, we need to develop habits and skills and abilities that allow us to deal with every day, daily, all the different things of life, one day at a time, one thing at a time. And so to do that, it's important for us to think about what we're saying to ourselves, what our expectations of our day are, of our life are, of our circumstances, of how things are gonna work out, or how, of how things are working out. It's important in order to live life well every day, we have to have the skills and the abilities, the resources to be able to do that. And so learning how to think properly about ourselves or about a situation or a circumstance, a person, a position, a thing, no matter what it is, that's part of our life. That's part of our day. That's part of our daily life. And developing habits that allow us to be successful, be peaceful, be happy, be to accomplish, to achieve are important in order to enjoy this life that we're living daily. If we can win every day and we can win every week and then win every week and win every month and win every month and win every year and win every year, and win every decade, whatever it is, it's one day at a time. It's one at a time, one at a time. So develop the skills. It's important to develop the skills that allow us to win one day at a time to keep our peace one day at a time, our health one day at a time, success one day at a time, every day, to the point that they become assumptions that we are assuming what we want to be, to do, and to have. And even if we start off with a contrary thought, to have practiced enough, so to speak, where the proper thought comes in, or an idea, and a proper idea, or what we're gonna say, and change it to something that's beneficial to us, to develop the skills that are necessary to live daily, to develop daily skills that allow us to be successful on a daily basis. What are we saying? What are we thinking? What are we believing to be true? These allow us to be successful daily, daily skills. So I want to encourage us all to develop the daily skills, the daily thoughts, the daily beliefs, the daily things we're saying to ourselves that allows us to be able to experience the life we want and not just have life happen to us to use life to express ourselves and experience what we choose. It's all available to us. We just have to choose and we choose by what we're willing to say, not just by what we see, by what we're willing to say. If we don't like what we see, say something different, choose something different, believe something different, assume something different, turn light into dark or dark into light. Both ways are fine, right? But you choose. Peace.